What's up guys? How come I've had to record this thing 15 times? You know what? I want to tell you about a flashlight. It's made by Phoenix. Phoenix is awesome flashlights. I've done a review on one in the past. I'm not going to do this like a normal review. You know what? Here's the box. That's what it comes in. It's awesome box. Comes with a fill ring. It comes with a charging cable. Comes with a manual, a warranty card. The stuff that you kind of expect to get with it. We're just going to get down to brass tacks. What we have here is a waterproof flashlight that's rechargeable, has built-in USB charging. This little beast is unbelievable. This thing can be dropped on concrete, dropped in water. It's IP68 rated. It charges in an hour and 20 minutes. It has a battery indicator to tell you how strong the battery is. It's got low lighting down to one lumen all the way up to 1200 lumens. If you guys are interested in knowing more about it, make sure you stick around and let's get started. Taking a deeper look into the Phoenix E18R version 2.0, a simple press of the button there tells you exactly where your battery stands. Right now we're at 100% to 85% battery charge. If it's flashing green, that's gonna tell you that it's 85 to 50%. If it's solid red, it's 50 to 25%. And flashing red is 25 to 1%. To make things convenient when the battery needs recharge, you flip it over and you have a built-in USB-C adapter right in the back to where you can charge it up. This can charge in little as an hour and 20 minutes from a completely dead battery. As I mentioned earlier, we have a reversible clip right here. It allows you to use it as a traditional clip. Also use it as a hat clip. That way you can use it as a headlamp. So if you're out and about and you didn't know you're gonna be in a dark spot, you're able to clip that on your hat and free up your other hand. And you have your regular clip where you can just clip it on like that. As I mentioned, this is IP68 rated. When you unscrew the cap here, you're going to find that it has a O-ring here on the very end which it does come with an extra O-ring in the box. The battery comes with the flashlight also. It's a 700 milliamp hour battery. If you're out and about and you need another battery, you can run a 123 battery in it, but that doesn't give you all the features that you have with this one. This one gives you the level indicator of the battery life. The 123 battery does not. Just like most of their flashlights, this one has a gold plated spring on the end that gives you great conductivity to the battery. And it also has gold plated contact point there for the other end of the battery. Speaking of battery life, we get up to 200 hours on the one lumen moonlight setting we get 16 hours out of the 30 lumen we get two hours and 30 minutes out of the 150 lumen setting we get an hour and 20 out of the 350 lumens and we get up to 30 minutes at the 1200 turbo mode. Now in turbo mode, you will not get 30 minutes of continuous runtime. It will step down to the next level until it keeps itself within a cool rating. These do have intelligent step down technology. We have a gold ring around the bezel. We have a frosted reflector in the middle. This LED is the SST40 cool white. It has a beam reach of 146 meters. It's made out of an A6061 T6 aluminum. All right, let's take a brief look at the outside performance, day versus night. This right here is the moonlight setting. That is the low. That is the medium. And there's turbo mode. And there's the strobe mode. All right, guys, that's a quick rundown of the flashlight. Like I said, I don't wanna make this a boring drug out, same old flashlight review that everyone else is doing. That's not my motive. I have links down below to the flashlight. If you wanna help support the channel, you can get it through Amazon or you can get it through Phoenix Light. This was provided to me by Phoenix, but it's all my opinions. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't be talking about it. I'll be doing a second video here on the TK22 TAC. If you're looking for a larger flashlight with the 2800 loom area, so check that out. Link for that will be down below also. I wanna thank you guys for coming in, checking out the video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Till next time, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.